The waves can travel thousands of kilometers across oceans. When they hit land, the results can be cataclysmic, as they were a century ago in Southeast Asia. Krakatau in Indonesia, 1883. 36,000 people killed by an eruption that was far less in intensity, less than half the intensity of this eruption here. Most people were killed by tsunamis. This means then that we should perhaps be looking for tsunami deposits here, deposits left by these large waves. Evidence of those deposits has eluded archaeologists for decades. Now Floyd has heard of an intriguing find that just might be what he's looking for. In 1997, a team of geologists came to this saltwater marsh. They drilled deep down into the ground and removed a core of mud. Back at a laboratory in Britain, one of the team started sifting through the core. After months of patient work, Dale Dominey Howes found what he was looking for, tiny fossilized shells called forams. And forams are actually very helpful to us because they live in a whole range of different environmental settings. Some like living in very shallow marine conditions like on marshes. Others prefer to live in estuaries and some in much deeper water. They're actually very useful because each individual species looks very different. Under the microscope, the difference between the shells becomes clear. The one on the right once lived in shallow water. The one on the left originally lived in very deep water. As Dale examined the mud core more closely, he found something very peculiar. As you go down through the core, you're going back in time. And all through the larger part of the core, we're finding absolutely no forearms at all. When you get to this point, something very exciting happens there's a very thin band or layer of sand, and this sand is absolutely stuffed with marine forams. This type of forams found in the layer are fully marine and come from much deeper water offshore. This means something very unusual happened here, a very unusual high energy event that's brought these deep water species from offshore into the marsh. So I suspect that this is actually the signature of a tsunami that's flooded into the marsh. Dale's evidence suggests the volcano on Thera produced waves that traveled 100 kilometers across the open sea. Their effect would have been felt right along the northern coast of Crete, but most of all at harbor towns like Palaikastro, 